Welcome to Drink Craft Repeat with my co-host. I don't have any socks in the house. I just like King Kong it down here. So today we're going to talk to you about the perfect way to do a wine tasting. Now a lot of people have different techniques, you know, you swirl your glass, you sniff it, you get the aromas. You let the tannins settle in all mm -hmm. of your red wine. Mm -hmm. We actually have a better strategy, and it's called pre-gaming with the Edgar Bombs. Yes, Hunter, the you best ready? way to do that. We all know that we don't like the taste of red wine. That's the best thing to do before you go to the you. Mm -hmm. Do a red wine tasting, kill your taste buds. Definitely. Mm. Well, we'll start with your disgusting one. Yeah. <clears throat> Taste some wines that you uh, already know are really shitty, and if you find them tolerable, then you know your strategy's strategy working if you taste fucking great. This particular one that Aaron is now drinking is a Pothic White. Chardonnay, aromatic Riesling, and a luscious Moscato. Michelle opened this bottle like a week and a half ago and refuses to throw it away, even though we both think it sucks. So every day she comes home from work, she uncorks it, and takes big swigs and tries to pretend that that shit tastes good. Honey, it tastes better every day. Does it taste better every day or every Jaeger bottle? Every Jaeger bottle. So delicious. So, so, so delicious. Don't buy any wine from CVS. <laughs> Next up is a Pinot Noir. Mm. Michelle, why don't we get this wine? I... Oh. I cooked, I know, fucking I mean, everyone, how does the expression go? Make sure you're wearing socks, because I'm about to blow them off. Nice. Yeah. All right, so I cooked a salmon dip. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think that's really an expression. I, is this how it goes? I think you knock off socks. Oh. Make sure you're wearing socks. I'm about to knock them off. There you go. Thanks. Good recovery. Yeah. So, the other day, I made a salmon dinner, and Aaron, with all of his wonderful wine knowledge, Googled the best <laughs> wine to have. <laughs> I tried to give him credit. That was nice. Tried to give him credit, but you know. Googled the best thing to go with the salmon dinner, which ended up being a red wine, which we are not, not red wine people. At all. However, today, yeah. this Pinot Noir actually, uh, I'm getting a lot of fruits on it, it's good. We kind of lucked into this method. We do wine tastings kind of bi-weekly-ish, um, and we discovered that if we did a couple of Jaeger bombs before we went into the wine tastings, they were and we so liked, much better. We liked every single one, and we weren't kind of suffering yeah. through them. Like this wine yesterday, suffered through it, absolutely suffered through it. Today, it's not so bad. So yeah, so that is the uh, the Jagerbaum wine testing technique. It it works. Patent pending. Yeah. Nice. However, I haven't found anything Ooh. to make your white wines taste better because unfortunately, that apothic white still tastes horrible. Don't fucking buy it. Okay, so Jagerbaum's red wine tasting. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to you when we figure out something for white wine. You know what the trick to white wine tasting is? Moscato. Yeah, just drink just Moscato just exclusively. Moscato. Like this one. Or any of those. You can't see those, but you can in a minute. Oh yeah. Oh. So yeah, any of those wines slash bottles of Jaeger. <laughs> those are all uh, drink craft repeat approved. They are, very much so. In fact, I don't know who drinks more. 